Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I want to revisit the X screen for the Xbox Series S from Upspec. And the reason why I'm actually doing this is because I did a video for this, like, I think like a year ago. And right now, a couple weeks ago, the company has actually got the badge from Xbox that says design for Xbox. And that's a very awesome, great accomplishment for any company that's doing accessories for like PlayStation, Nintendo. You always want to get that, you know, badge. That way consumers, when they're buying into something for the console, they say, okay, this is approved by Sony or Xbox. And that's what they got for this screen. And it's really cool. You could get this from Amazon. I think the price goes for around 200 to $250. But you know how Amazon is. Most of the times, the price is going to be changing a lot. And now with the holidays coming in, you could get this for less than $200. Maybe. I'm not saying it's going to be for less than $200. But it could drop. It could drop because right now it's at low $200. And it's i think it's totally worth it, especially if you're like me that you like to when you travel you want to have a full console experience with an awesome screen and not too much bulk and this is it so of course one of the reasons most likely they liked this screen over the other ones is because it's very clean you know it's very clean when you see it it's attached to the console it doesn't add any bulk whatsoever and like you see here there's no other cable that you need to power the screen and the xbox which is awesome of course the only thing that it needs is the power cord that's it and of course like you see there it has still has access for the storage you know the dongle that comes that you put it right there but of course one of the negative things might be for a lot of some people is that the ethernet cable is not available this actually blocks it but it makes it look very, very, very clean. It blocks the HDMI port because, of course, this is using the HDMI port and a USB port that this actually gets the power from. It uses these latches right here that you can actually change colors. I have like a whole bunch of colors available for this, like blue, white, like green, red, really cool. And uh, of course, very easy to take off. This is just a knob right there that you just Take it off and it attaches to the grills here which makes it look you know very 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 clean if you see my other videos i forgot the name of the company but the other company like you see here on the video of course the positive thing about those screens is that on the back of the xbox series s you can actually see all the ports for the console and that's cool it has the ethernet ports but this like I said, this is meant to be as clean as possible. Uh, let's go and put the power here and turn it on. Dun -dun. Okay. This also lights up as well. This little logo from Upspec also light, uh, lights on. Turn it on. It's going to turn it on right here. Of course, another cool thing is that it has these speakers right here. Let me go ahead and move the camera a little bit more. It has these speakers right here. Let's see. There you go. Turns on. Alrighty, cool. Uh, the size of the screen is actually 11.6 inches, and it's a six is a 1080p, 60 hertz. Now, some people might say, "Hey, why not 1440p, 120 hertz when this is capable 144p?" Um, one of the reasons why they say they couldn't do that is because when they started their production for this screen at that size there was not a screen 1440p right and also if they try to add like a 4k screen to this console or 1440p for this console most likely is also going to require an external power for the screen and that's true because i have other screens different sizes 14 15 for the xbox series s and they do require another power source and you'll you'll have cables all around for the screen and for the console and that's something that they didn't want to have they wanted to have a, the most cleanest setup as possible and i think it's a good deal the screen looks beautiful the colors looks great um you also have here the speakers the speakers also sound really good which are, you're going to appreciate here on the video because i'm going to share some gameplay uh, you got the brightness here you can actually control and here you got the settings where you can actually change it to fps mode gaming mode movie mode cinema mode um, standard mode whatever you can change the color the temperatures and all that the contrast and so on so on i already made a video a couple videos 
going a little bit more in depth with this so if you want to see all the ins and out and unboxing make sure you actually watch those videos and like i said right here look at that this logo actually turns on which looks pretty cool some people have been asking me for some gameplay of starfield being played here on the screen and i'm gonna go ahead and finish the video with gameplay of starfield me playing on the screen and also a little bit more then i'm gonna be switching to mlb the show 23 that way you guys can actually appreciate the greens and all the colors of baseball which looks very very beautiful makes the screen actually pop a lot more and the audio is going to be at 100 percent but yeah guys let me know in the comments what you think about this uh do you like it or not do you like this screen is there another screen that you prefer over this one let me know in the comments but of course make sure you actually watch my videos because i have other videos of screens for the xbox series s that i've already made for and they those are very good screens but like i said none of those screens look as clean as this one when it's hooked up to the xbox series s and that's for for me that's a big deal because one of the main reasons that you get this is for travel and also you can get this screen with a case that comes where you can actually put the console with the screen already attached inside the case the controller and cables as well making it a lot more travel friendly and that's uh, for me that's a big deal that's a big deal for me so guys thanks for watching this video let me know in the comments what you think about the screen and like i said i will finish the video with gameplay and i hope you enjoy thanks for watching till next time bye bye
just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down any time. Pitch misses there. Two and oh. Come on, boy. Put it in. Outside. Rio. Hmm. There's a strike. Danger spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Mm -hmm. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Mm -hmm. Up next for the Rangers, Evan Carter. Swings and misses. Strike one. 